Okay. Well, before you say it, before you say that, there is no real uh, meta position, as it were, on this one. Okay, so let's look at what we've got. Well, yeah, there is no meta position. Right? So, it's only for dice. Because there's two, right. this is a it's dice. Already, it's already been yeah, parallel. Okay, yeah, it's parallel, all right. Let's just uh, look at this type of a problem. So, this asks if you were to do an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, okay, where would you expect the substituent to go? Okay, that's essentially what this problem says. And so when you look at these two substituents that you already have on there, right, you can ask yourself, are they electron donating or are they electron withdrawn? Okay, and that's your first step. So this one, of course, you can always draw them out, you know, bond line or whatever, but hopefully you can see this is an isopropyl group, right? So alkyl groups, do you remember if they're electron donating or withdrawing? Uh, alkyl groups be to the far right, right? The electron donating. Okay, so electron donating or electron withdrawn. So this one's electron donating group. Okay, and this, what's this? The it's an electron group. withdrawing. Which are, with electron withdrawing. Okay, so they're going to have their particular, um, what do you say, uh, abilities to put the new substituent at particular places, right? So. An electron donating group, where does it usually put the new substituent in an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction? Ortho or para? So ortho or para, right? So ortho is here, right, relative to the alkyl substituent. So let's put a little arrow there. But ortho is also here. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Para, where's that? It's already got it's something. It's already got something, so we can't put something there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the electron withdrawing group. Right? Where is that going to want to put at the meta position, right? So this, yeah, this really, you know? So whenever we're going to do this type of reaction, although this is fairly st uh, sterically encumbering, right, these two positions, if this was going to react in an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, right, you would get that new substituent there or there. Okay? So that's the way to do it. That's the way to do these reactions these problems. Okay, we're good? Yeah.